What is going on, boys? Swaggy is here, so I'm in for Duke and Sanchez today. So today we're we'll checking out a new Paper Mario, Paper Mario trailer, my bad. <laughs> this is the Thousand Year Door, an overview trailer from the Nintendo Switch, and this is uploaded by Nintendo, no, Nintendo of America. So like I said, I'm gonna like, I, I love Paper Mario. It's like one of my old series. I literally played it on like, on my Wii when I had it. I think it was like Paper Mario, uh, I can't remember. Uh, I'm about to search it out, but I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll show you guys later. Give me a second here. It was Super Paper Mario. It was this one. I got this one on my, on my Wii. I played it. I played it to death. Um, I think I eventually did stop because I couldn't. I, I was like super young and I couldn't get past a certain number. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just going to give up. <laughs> but I think I eventually did go back and just finish it off. But overall, aside from that, I'm glad I played the living death out of that. I loved it. Uh, but I'm hoping, you know, let's see what they, let's see what they're uploading today. <laughs> so, Danny, if you do, link will, be down below, link will be down below for that yourself. You please go check it out. And of course, please go, please go check out Nintendo of America for any future trailers for any kind of Nintendo games you're interested in. But aside from that, let's get down to it. Number I'm really interested to see how this goes. It's Mario, and he's paper. Paper thin. Our hero and his allies Ooh. open the storybook okay. on an epic paper adventure in... Yo! Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door! Yep. Okay. One terrific day, Mario receives a letter yeah, from okay. Princess Peach. You're not funny, bro. And a treasure map? Ooh. Mario immediately books it to find the legendary treasure and Yo, the now missing cool. princess. Okay. Let the tale begin! Woo! That was slick. 2D to 3D. Yep. The towns. The forests. Ooh. The locals. Yep. Interesting. Everything's people. made of paper. Mm -hmm. Each colorful location boasts its own Ooh. unique flavor. And Fact. a tapestry of challenges. I see. The versatile Mario can slip through tight gaps Ooh. and turn into a paper plane to glide through the air. I see. Hmm. Looks like he's making that paper work. Ooh. Yo, that's sick. You'll also get to play as Princess Peach. Ooh. Sick. Bowser. Oh, okay. With Damn. pretty unusual adventures of their own. <laughs> okay. Partners are plenty. Partner up with Gumbella, an upbeat archaeologist in the making who provides Ooh. valuable insight. The shy yet determined Coops, who can ram enemies and objects with his shell. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And the rather the dramatic goat. Madame Fleury, a retired actress who can conjure wind to send things flying. That's sick. Other partners with vivacious Yoshi. personalities will also join the party. Heck yeah. Swap partners when the situation calls for it mm -hmm. and use their abilities to progress on your journey. Yo, that's sick. I'm, I'm loving Enemies her. include a mysterious organization also Ooh. hunting for the treasure mm -hmm. as well as a fearsome dragon a dragon an egotistical wrestling champ Aye. and plenty of other characters lurking in the shadows Ooh, okay that is time okay let's get it bump into let's an enemy on goes. the field and a turn-based battle will begin in a theater classic <laughs> mario when classic it's your turn mario. you'll select a move to perform this entire game is got to hit Mario, by the way. I know, I know what it is. Multi Most moves require doing an action command. Mm -hmm. You might press or mash the buttons shown on screen, among Ooh. other actions. God, Perform an sick. action command with good timing, and you might get a better outcome. Damn. The audience will also cheer for you, and Ooh. seats will gradually fill up. I Impress see. the audience to earn stars. Power, allowing Star you power. to unleash special moves. Yeah, that's Use it, for example, to deal loads of damage to enemies and turn the Damn. page a tide of battle. Okay. Equip that was badges sick. you find during your travels to gain benefits from Mario and his partners. Ooh. That's lit. You can also use fire flowers and yep. cow blocks. They look a little different. familiar Over and person. peculiar items. And during Damn. battle, stage props can fall. Damn. Or the audience might throw stuff. Oh. So That's try not to get torn up in all the chaos. Hmm? Super guard. Okay. 
That was it. Damn, those just got munched on. That's crazy. Roll up to the Bianca parlor. Match pictures. Or play mini games using Ooh. Mario's paper abilities. Okay. Challenge the pit of 100 trials. 100 trials. Battle waves of enemies to reach the 100th floor. Oh, that's so sick. Find star pieces and shine sprites to unlock shine galleries. Sprites. Okay. Where you can view concept art and listen to music. Yeah, that's There's so sick. so much to explore mm -hmm. with surprises around every fold. It's impossible. Unbelievable. A shine sprite. Even. That reminds me of a... Uh... Now that is from the Super Mario Sunshine. I love it. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, science is in but... Yo! Hey, yo! A mouse. Well then, you'd best be prepared for one page-turning adventure. Yo, this is sick. Damn. Okay. Paper Mario, Mario just got launched a thousand-year door game. Available May 23rd on the Nintendo Switch system. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Oh, they're available now. I might have to do that myself. But anyways, without any further ado, uh, yeah. So overall, I'm not gonna lie. This new take of the classic Mario game, The Thousand Door, it's just really, really interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I think this isn't a game before. I haven't searched it up. I'll be right back. Give me a second. Yes, yes, it is an old game. It is an old game kind of brought back to the new system. Uh, yeah, it was released for the GameCube. So overall, that's really cool. I'm not gonna lie. That is really, really, really nice, and that's really, really cool. But aside from that, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, uh, overall, the trailer itself it was magnificent. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my gosh. Even the actual trailer itself it was so well done. Oh, sorry about that. But since the actual trailer itself it was spectacular, I love it so much. It was so well done. It was, in general, was so, so nice with it. I'm going to just go into my basic three aspects before I continue onward. So I'm going to go into the actual, just, uh, uh, just in general gameplay and general voice acting. And, of course, aside from that, though, the actual, uh, yeah, gameplay, voice acting. And of course the plot itself here. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off with the, the story itself here, the plot itself here. They're going to the actual voice setting itself here, and of course going to the actual gameplay itself. So that introduces let's get into it. So yeah, the plot itself here, you know, I mean not nothing too complicated. Uh <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. I've never actually played the original GameCube game, so I'm overall I I am probably gonna be going into it blind. I will probably buy it. And who knows, maybe we'll even play together. But I sat in like I said, I haven't played before, so overall, I don't know the story about the game itself here too much. I won't spoil myself yet, though. Uh, so overall, I'm really interested to see how this goes. Apparently, um, there's a thousand-year-old door. Uh, apparently, Peach gets somehow uh, transported to somewhere because of an old treasure chest or something like that. And of course, now Mario has to go find her and more and go find, and go just scouring the lands for her. And then, of course, Bowser and Peach are going to have their own side mission. So overall, that's really going to be interesting. But aside from that, though, Looks like to be, you know, more of an RPG type of vibe. Uh, you know, gather allies, you know, gather abilities, you know, go through uh, stages and maybe grind some monsters. No, maybe not grind. More or less just kind of uh, go through the lands, collect items, collect maybe superpowers or not superpowers, but like special moves and stuff like that. And then, you know, the badges as well, like they said. And aside from that, though, overall, it looks really interesting. It looks like it has a lot of things to collect, especially the, the shine sprites and, of course, the star pieces, which is why I'm probably trying to try to get those if I can, if I do end up getting the game itself here. But aside from that, though, overall, the, the game itself here looks really good. The, inter the plot itself here looks really interesting. I'm not going to lie. It looks really cool. I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm invested. I'm invested. But aside from that, though, let's get into the actual just, uh, you know, uh, voice setting itself here. Let's get into it. Now, there isn't much in terms of actual in-game voice setting. It's more or less kind of just the uh, characters making grunts or, oh, <laughs> like, just kind of, like, scream and stuff like that. But overall, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I loved it. But aside from that, though, overall, I think the very important part here for this video was the actual narration. The narration itself here was peak. I'm not gonna lie. Peak narration. But aside from that, though, like, such as the actual narration itself here was really well done. I love it so much. And, yeah, it's just so, so good. But aside from that, though, and if you do, uh, let's get into the actual that gameplay itself. And we're stretching that, too. So, yeah, the gameplay itself here was overall really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. I loved it. I loved it. It was so, so interesting and so cool. But of course, aside from that, that's gonna say the gameplay itself here really well done. Looks so good. The graphics and all of that looks just so nice. And I get to that, and I get more into depth later on. But aside from that, like I said, just the actual gameplay itself here really well done. Nothing goes out any further ado. Let's continue to deeper dive here. Now, before I get into the deeper dive of the actual stuff here, like you usually say, please go judge and check out the original video. Link down below. Without any further ado, if you made it to this point of the actual stuff here, we're pretty much like 80% done. So you might as well just go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. <laughs> That's so much to the channel itself and our watches in general helps me out a ton. So please consider doing that. And of course, aside from that, go ahead and you know hit the notification bell for the next time I upload if you're interested in catching the newest uploads as soon as you can. 
But aside from that, though, without any further ado, like you just say, comment down below your thoughts on the actual game itself here and whether or not you're going to buy it or not. Personally, I think I am going to buy it. Mainly because, well, I want to add another Mario game to my collection. <laughs> well, I don't really have a hot two I have a collection, uh, but I do at least want to play like one of the older classic Mario games. Uh, I have already gotten uh, Super Mario RPG. I've been trying to play through that for a while. Uh, if you want like a video on that or like maybe a, a who knows maybe a live stream of me going through it well more or less kind of continuing off where i was going through it then like i said let me know in the comments down below but aside from that though as i was gonna say aside from the yapping let's just get into deeper dive here number to get into it so yeah that's for do basically for the deeper dive here what i kind of get into i kind of just get more into depth on the stuff that i was already talking about my actual plot itself here the voice acting and of course the gameplay itself here so that's for do let's get on to it so overall uh, just the plot itself here looks to be very very you know not too simplistic but not too complicated um after all this was a, a how to say it's very much mario game. and he's paid yeah so overall the plot itself here kind of starts off like in the beginning right it's up like basically mario gets a letter um of course like saying like uh something about a how was it a treasure map a treasure map that we got mario immediately books it to find the legendary treasure and yes. the now missing princess of course, yeah. Oh, I, every plot of Super Mario, <laughs> Peach goes missing, but Mario's got to find her. But aside from that, that's what I was going to say. Just overall, the plot itself here looks to be kind of simplistic. Let the tale begin! And looks like that's it. He gets uh, a letter and a treasure map, and of course, he has now has to find a thousand-year door and eventually find Peach. And overall, there's going to be some side plots with, Ple you know, with Peach and Bowser. So overall, this can be really, really interesting. But aside from that, though, like I was saying, uh, overall, though, I think my favorite part of the actual just uh, you know story itself here is how it's gonna evolve and how the characters themselves are kind of you know kind of be how to say it, in certain situations. But aside from that, I was gonna say just the actual plot itself here not too sim not too difficult to understand. Nothing, nothing you gotta just search like other Super Mario you know, or Super Paper Mario games for. But aside from that, overall pretty simplistic in universe and of course in this basically kind of uh, in game. I guess it's just self-contained. The plot itself is kind of just self-contained. That's what I was going to say. But aside from that, if you do, it's going to see actual voice setting itself. You know, I'm distracting So yeah, overall, the voice setting itself here, nothing too difficult, nothing too, you know, crazy. There's not going to be, like, entire voice segments here. So overall, that's not anything <laughs> But it's going to be, like, you know, allies and stuff like that. Maybe some grunts, some some screams, some, you know, grunts of pain and stuff like that. Yet determined coops. And, of course, sound effects. ram enemies and objects with his shell. But overall, the narration here from the actual narrator here, I'm not going to Pretty gas, pretty gas. I'm not gonna, I love it. Overall, though, uh, most likely it's just gonna be, <laughs> most likely it's just gonna be like, you know, uh, Koopa sound effects, Goomba sound effects, and then maybe like Mario sound effects and stuff like that. So, overall, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna Pretty, pretty simplistic, but overall, really, really enjoyable. So, I'm gonna I love it. But aside from that, though, the narration here, really good. I'm not gonna I love how they got through the actual videos up here, kind of just, um, not only added a lot of personality to the actual game itself, or to the actual voice standing itself here, but overall, added so much, uh, how to say it? Had a, just added a lot of descriptions of the game itself, and overall, I love that. That's so interesting, and overall, just in general, keeps me engaged. And overall, the uh, kind of let just lets me know what's going on here, what these things actually do. But aside from that, any but do let's go ahead and get to the actual gameplay itself, and we're checking it out too. So overall, the gameplay itself here looks amazing. The designs look oh, they look so good. The lighting of the actual game itself here looks so nice. Paper Mario's design is honestly just amazing. I love it. I love it. It's it, bro's Paper Mario. I mean. It's not hard to to make a paper Mario, but overall was was probably you no know, kind of um, what's more interesting is these environments. I'm not glad I love them, but they have a little bit of a shiny floor type of feel, and then of course there's a little bit of sheeting right there for the blocks. Overall, I said the lighting itself for this game looks amazing. The sort of 3D and 2D combination or combination is so well done and so well trained. And the designs for the characters here, I'm not gonna lie, I love them. I love Koops. I love Goombella. I love Paper Mario. And I love Madam. What was her name? Madam Lufir. Madam Lufir. P character. But aside from that, though, overall, they all have just magnificent abilities and just, you know, just how to say it. They all have magnificent abilities. I'll have just a magnificent mechanics and in general, the gameplay itself here looks really good. I love it. I love it. Just the actual, just ugh, the how to say it? the battle looks interesting. There's star points. There's flower. I think that's for like anyway. When it's your turn, I think I what was the, what was the flowers for? I think the flowers for like special abilities, like for Mario and like stuff like that. Because I remember I playing some of my RPGs and the flowers, there was like flowers or something like that in the game that kind of just go to like individual character special abilities. So I think that's what the flowers themselves are for. So overall, 
I love it. I love it. But aside the, uh, geez, sorry about that. But aside from that, though, like I said, the the, the gameplay itself here was really interesting. I love it. It's so well done, and the gen just looks so so good. But overall, that's to be expected from an actual a uh, you know triple A company like Nintendo. Like Nintendo. But aside from that, the interview that basically does get through all my general thoughts and pins on the actual stuff here. So like I said, go check it out. Link down below and card right there. I'm leaving you two links to get to that original video. So please go check it out. And aside from that, go another. <laughs> Another end card right here for another one of my videos. If you're interested in catching that, it's time to go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification channel over to watch the channel. Hopes you had a ton, so please consider doing that as well. And of course, not forget bell for the next time I upload. If you're interested in catching the newest videos as soon as you can, hit the bell icon. That's kind of what it's there for. And aside from that, though, let me know your thoughts in the video. Or the, let me know your thoughts in the game itself here in the comments down below. Whether or not you're gonna buy it, you're not gonna buy it, you, you love it, you, you don't love it, or whether or not you are interested in the game at all. But aside from that, as well, any further ado. Like I said, leave your thoughts in the video and, of course, the game itself here down, down below. And, of course, like you just say, take care, stay safe, and, of course, I hope to see you back again for the next video tomorrow. All right? Like I said, stay safe, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again. All right? Yeah. Later.